Professor Herbert Marcus. Marcuse. Yeah, he was my mentor. He had a major influence on the new left of the late 60s, and on me personally. Next to your father? My father? What the hell's that got to do with my father? I, uh... <clears throat> Is that why you became a journalist? Then you get to ask all the questions? Are you charged by the hour? My father was a <clears throat> me mechanical engineer. Most ingenious man I ever knew. Well, my father left us when I was five years old. He was not the most ingenious man I ever knew. Let's get back to uh, Brown and Williamson. If you decide to go on 60 Minutes, I gotta know everything about why you were fired. Why? They're gonna dig up stuff from your past. They're gonna throw it at you. I gotta know what they're gonna throw. You understand? I drink. A couple occasions more than I should have. I was cited for shoplifting once, but it was a mistake. Pushed Leanne one time, and we were both stressed out because of the pressure. She went to her mother's. <clears throat> I got uh, fired because uh, when I get angry, I have difficulty censoring myself, and I don't like to be pushed around. I'm not pushing you around. I'm asking you questions. I'm just a commodity to you, aren't I? That could be anything, right? Anything worth putting on between commercials. To a network, probably we're all commodities. To me, you're not a commodity. What you are is important. You go public and 30 million people hear what you gotta say. Nothing, I mean nothing, will ever be the same again. You believe that? No. You should. Because when you're done, a judgment is gonna go down in a court of public opinion, my friend. And that's the power you have. You believe that? I believe that? Yes, I believe that. You believe that because you get information out to people, something happens? Yes. And maybe that's just what you've been telling yourself all these years to justify having a good job, having status. And maybe for the audience, it's just voyeurism, something to do on a Sunday night. And maybe it won't change a fucking thing. And people like myself and my family are left hung out to dry, used up, broke, alone. Are you talking to me, or did somebody else just walk in here? I never have any of that. No, no, exactly. Don't evade a choice you got to make by questioning my reputation or 60 Minutes with this cheap skepticism. I have to put my family's welfare on the line here, my friend. And what are you putting up? You're putting up words. Words. While you've been dicking around some fucking company golf tournaments, I've been out in the world giving my word and backing it up with action. Now, are you going to go and do this thing or not? He said I'd call the kids before they went to bed. On this, sir. Uh...